Hi everyone, in this video I will be going over installing and using Proton VPN for free. What is a VPN service? When you're on the internet and you access anything, people can see your IP address. So for example, YouTube, news sites, CNN, Fox, gaming services such as Steam, or if you're torrenting, they'll be able to see your IP address, so where you're coming from. What if you want to maintain your privacy and you don't want them to know your IP address? So that is where a VPN service comes in. A VPN service will allow you to securely and privately access anything without them knowing your IP address. How a VPN service works is that Proton VPN has lots of servers around the world. So you have your computer connect to one of these servers and then that server IP will be shown instead of your real IP address. Proton VPN has a paid VPN and a free VPN. So if you want to try it out, you can do it for free and install the software and see how you like it. There's no cost and you can use it as much as you want. There are some caveats because it's free. So many people do use it, including myself. So the speeds won't be as good. And also there are only a limited number of countries you can connect to, just a handful. As you can see here, three countries, NL, US, and JP, so Netherlands, US, and Japan, compared to 69 countries for paid users. It's very quick to install and use. So I'll now go and download it. So you can search in Google for Proton VPN free, or you can just go to the website, protonvpn.com slash free dash VPN, and you can get Proton VPN for free. I'm going to continue with free. And it's going to ask you for your email address. So you can just put in your email address. It's creating the account and it's created a password for me. And I'm just going to change it and use my own password. Download. Download Proton VPN. install it. So I'm not going to install the Proton drive. All right, it's started up. So I'm just going to put in my email address and password. Okay, and it started up. I'm just going to skip the tour here. So as you can see at the top here, it says I am disconnected. And all you need to do is hit the quick connect button to connect. So it's connecting me to Japan. And there you can see a new IP address. WireGuard is being used to make this VPN connection. And on the right side, you can see the load. So there's a load of 69% on the server in Japan. And if you go into command prompt, and if you do an IP config space forward slash all, and you can see that there's a WireGuard tunnel created here between myself and with the server in Japan. And here's my IP address and the DNS server that it's using. And if you type in route space print, and you can see here that there's a default gateway and the interface is 10.2.0.2 .2 and the metric is zero. So it's going to prefer going over the VPN tunnel here. So you can see that it is up. And going back here, if I go to Google and if I search for anything, for example, if I put in weather and you'll see here that the weather, it thinks that I am in Tokyo and it provides the weather for Tokyo. I'm just going to go back to Proton VPN. In previous versions, you would be able to select a server in the Netherlands or in Japan or in the US, but now they just have a quick connect button and then it would connect to a server that's the best for you. And so if I hit disconnect and if I hit quick connect again, it's so waiting for a usable connection. It's connecting me to Japan again. So if you want to connect to a different server, it's you might have to disconnect and then connect again if, for example, you want to connect to the Netherlands instead. Another thing about using VPN services is that if you're from the US and you Google and 
I'm currently in Japan, so if I type in any results, it's going to be Japanese oriented. And if you follow, for example, international politics, it will have the view from Japan instead of the US. Another thing that companies may be doing is called geoblocking, which is when a platform or website will block or restrict access to content based on your location. So, for example, if you want to see some TV shows or sports content but are seen coming from outside of the US, they may restrict you. Online banking and shopping is also another area as well that can be a challenge the first time when connecting because if you normally connect from, for example, the US but are now seen coming out from Japan, they may do additional checks just to make sure that you are who you say you are. Another thing about VPN services is for gaming, such as FPS, first person shooters, when your latency is crucial to your success. If you're in the US and wanting to play on a server in the US, but you have a VPN to Japan, the traffic will be going to Japan and then back to the US. So you likely want to connect to a US server locally as close as to you as possible. So if I go into command prompt and if I do a trace RT, trace route and so the trace route has been completed and you'll see the first hop here is the server is the gateway that I have with the server in Japan and you can see it took about 180 milliseconds just to reach from North America to Japan and so if it's going to go to Japan and then come back to the US it's essentially going to be about double so if I do a trace route to the University of Oregon, located okay, in the West Coast in the US. So they have a route view server there. So the trace route has completed. So it took about 300 milliseconds to go from Japan and then back to the US to the University of Oregon. So this would not be ideal for FPS shooters or anything that is latency based if you're going to be gaming. So just uh, make a note of that. Other than that, VPNs have their use if you want privacy and security. Proton VPN is free and easy to install and use. So I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.